What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training. And today we're going to be talking about how wide receivers can come up with a plan of action off the line of scrimmage, okay? So we're going to be looking at this specific situation where we got this press coverage DB who looks like he's going to want to get physical, going to want to get hands on me. So how do I structure my plan off the line to beat that situation? So when you guys are watching film, the whole point of this video, the whole point of making this video is to show you guys that when you guys watch film, there needs to be a purpose to it, right? So everybody knows, you know, the specific press releases that we talk about. You know, we talk about a slide release, you know, a step back release, a split release, a wide step release, all those different wide receiver press releases. But how do we actually apply them? How do we actually execute them in a game? And that's how you guys can do this. So for example, like let's say I have to run like a, uh, like this, for example, this route's like a five yard in, right? So I got to run a five yard in and I got a DB who walks up and it looks like he's going to get physical. It looks like he's going to press me right off the line, going to try to get hands right off the line. So how do I combat this situation? So the plan of action in your head needs to be, okay, what read am I on the play? What's the DB's leverage? How is the DB playing me? Why is he playing me a certain way? And how can I get off the line effectively to keep timing with my quarterback and to keep timing with the play, right? So let's play this thing full speed. So this receiver decides to go with a step back release, but it does not take forever. So I'm gonna play this thing full speed. Does a great job with the step back, pushing up vertical, and then giving a little move at the top of the route, and then making this play over the middle on a five yard in. So let's talk about it, right? So the reason why he decides to go with this step back release is that's a part of his plan. He knows this going up into the line. Now, this situation is one on one, so maybe not exactly like how you would treat it at an 11 on 11 situation. But if you know through film study that the DB you're going to be going against all week is going to be a guy who's going to walk up, get hands on you, maybe he's a highly recruited guy, whatever it is, or you know, he's got a big physical dude, and he's going to try to get physical with you. We got to have this plan already determined before I even get to the game, before I even set foot on the field. So when I see this look, it's not a surprise to me and it's not foreign. That concept cannot be foreign to you. It can't be, oh, okay, oh man, we came up, he walked up and pressed. What do I do? What do I do? We have to be prepared. We have to know the different situations that they're going to be coming at us with based on film study and what they like to do. Okay. So now this is going to be, um, pretty much the only example with the guy who's going to be head up press and trying to get physical. Now the next clip we're going to talk about when you guys are a later read on the play and that DB is going to walk up and press and how you guys can structure your route via that. So make sure fellas that we understand what releases are going to work against each specific look. Have that plan going into the game before you step foot on the field. Let's watch it again full speed one more time. Great job with the step back. Great job having that plan and then being able to create some separation at the top. Okay so now before we get into this release here from Hunter Renfro I want to talk to you guys. We are now offering a 28 day on-field wide receiver workout plan on our website. So what it is, you'll get four weeks of specific wide receiver drills to help with route running, press releases, explosiveness, ankle stability, knee stability, the works to improve your game as a wide receiver on the field. We break down every single drill into sets and reps. And as you can see here, we include an instructional video where I show full speed examples of each drill and explain the importance of each exercise. So if you guys want some more information on our four week long wide receiver on-field training schedule, check out that very first link in the description below. Let's get back to this video. So now, let's talk about this. So when it comes to organizing a plan, right, you, you have different play concepts. You have different routes that you're going to run, and you have different timings of plays, right? So like not every single – so what Renfro is going to be running here is a whip route, right? But not every whip route is like the same first read. Like, for example, like let's say you're running a whip route, and like let's say the slot receiver is doing like a corner route. They call it a smash concept. We're trying to read the corner. If he crashes on the whip, the quarterback would hit the corner. If he stays back, we're going to hit the whip. But the important part about that whip is that obviously we get out of it quick because the quarterback's looking to you first. You're the first read on the play. So I got to get up into this route and I got to get up into this route fast. Now, this specific case right here, Renfro is going to be a later read in the play or the timing of the play changes, right? So what Derek Carr is going to be doing is he's going to be rolling out. So like, for example, I'll draw like here, here's the quarterback. He's maybe doing like a play action fake and booting out on the run. So what does that mean for us as a wide receiver? That means that my release is a little bit different. The timing of the release is going to be different. I don't want to run this whip route to too quick before Derek Carr's actually out on the sprint route or whoever the quarterback is because if I'm just sitting there waiting for him because I got out of the route too quick, that DB is going to be able to recover. So as a wide receiver, that's what we have to know going into a game. You guys should all have a list of all the plays. Unless you're like a freshman going into high school and you have no idea what you're an eighth grader going into high school and you have no idea the offense you're going to run, you guys should all be pretty familiar with the plays. And in high school, I'm going to tell you this right now, it's not that complicated. It's probably not more than 50 plays, right? So, and a lot of times it's the same type of route, but you got to have a different plan 
plan of action for each route that requires different timing. That's why I bring this up, right? So the release that I might choose against an inside shade press coverage DB is maybe like a yard or so off in this I catch technique might be a little bit different than what I would choose if it was like a double slant concept or maybe that whip corner concept when I'm a first read. So let's play this thing full speed. So what does Renfro decide to go with? He goes with this slide release, gives him a move to the outside, then breaks it off. And you can see Carr rolling out to the right. And that is the timing of the play. He's not there too fast. That's the thing. If that quarterback's doing a play action fake, maybe he's doing RPO, the timing of what you decide to do needs to change. And you need to structure that with your plan based off of film study and based on what this DB is doing. If you like to see that, okay, this DB all the time. He likes to play. When he goes down and plays press, he's one to two yards off. He's inside shade. The routes that I'm going to be running a lot of that week are going to be slants, going to be fades, going to be whip routes like this, but my whip route might take a little bit longer because it's off of play action. Okay, for my slant route, I might go diamond release, get him to flip, run the slant underneath. For my fade route, I might attack his leverage, then go back to the outside. For my whip route, I might slide to the outside because I want to give it a little bit more time. And you should have five to six different releases that all are fairly similar so it's not that complicated going Going into a game. That's how you can structure your plan, and that's how you guys can be prepared walking onto the field, knowing that whatever look that DB shows you, you will be prepared for it. Let's watch the thing again full speed one more time. Great job by Renfro being patient with the release, bursting to the inside, and then not getting to the window too fast and keeping that timing with his quarterback. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. Always appreciate the feedback, and it's always great to hear from you guys. And again, fellas, if you would like a four week long wide receiver field workout, schedule with all the on-field wide receiver drills that you should be doing for route running, releases, hands, explosiveness, with sets and repetitions broken down for you. Check out that very first link in the description below. We'd, have, we'd love to have you out, or we'd love to have you on our program, I should say. I'll see you guys next time.